You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... Dead. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechenov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone? Because you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. It was going to happen right here in the theater. House and Bob. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilome. Come in, Chilome. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically.
now, let's just not talk for a while, okay? Okay. Did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. And then, believe it or not, he says to me, in the grand finale, we're going to put this big old beauty on stage. I mean, what the fuck? It's an old model. This is our first session. I'm recording with the chirper for your file, Victor. So tell me about yourself. What kind of person are you? Hmm. Well, uh, I'm an upstanding citizen of the Soviet Union and a hardworking member of our society. Uh, I live for science, and I have two passions that are very important to me. Love and robots. Am I a good person? Yes, absolutely. Saving data. Did you enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next show will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth. The other end, foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. Data. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I definitely had better days, but yeah. This is still in peace. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this'll all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, comrade? Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, 
anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. No one can force somebody into Collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of Collective, how can Collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. Damn. Damn. 
too? Shouldn't we at least try to help him? There's nothing we can do for him. He sat down by your bed like he was hypnotized, and then he just stayed that way. We're the ones who need help now. My god. But you're right. Those shots were shit. They were supposed to help, but now I've got five people from the same collective farm on my hands. Leslie, something's... something is wrong with me. Call the nurse. Yeah, my side. My side is on fire. Hurry. Hurry. Call the nurse already. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov Complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space. You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things. Yes. We should do breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions. Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. Now they're gone. Oh, shut up!
data.